In my last tutorial, I showed you how to build a paper katana. In this one, we will build a paper sheath to go with it. Start by taking several sheets of 110 pound cardstock and cut them into 2 inch strips as shown. Then take a few strips and start wrapping it around the blade. Use tape to hold the wrapping in place. This will become the spacer that we're going to use as a mold to make the parts of our sheath. If you notice, my katana has a blade collar on it, so I built up my wrapping to match the thickness of this collar. This is used to prevent the blade from falling out of the sheath. Using more of the strips we cut earlier, start a wrap around the spacer, then spread glue on the rest of the wrap. Wrap two strips around this, and try not to get glue on the spacer, as you might end up gluing the pieces to it. This is only one section of the sheath. Now make enough of these to cover the entire length of the sword. Cut more strips, except this time make them one inch wide. Spread glue on them and use them to hold the individual sections as shown. Although this will create a difference in thickness, you can go back through and fill those in later using the same method. If your sword has a collar on it, Check and see if your sword will stay in its sheath. Try shaking it around and see how much force is needed to get it to fall out. I painted mine with a gloss black spray paint and decorated it with a matching red and black color scheme just to show you what it would look like. A sheath isn't very difficult to make. It is just very repetitive and makes for a very short tutorial. Remember to like if you liked the video, dislike if you didn't. Feel free to leave a question or comment, and subscribe if you haven't already to see more tutorials like this one. You can also follow me on Twitter for behind the scenes pictures for future projects.